Fire she suffers humiliation at PDP rally. Fingers body judge. Governor Makende. Former governor of Ekiti State, Ayodele Fayoshi, has accused Governor Sheyi Makende of Oyo State and Body Judge, a former deputy national chairman of the People Democratic Party PDP, of masterminding the assault on him at the party's campaign rally in Ondo State on Wednesday. The former Ekiti State governor was climbing the podium at the campaign ground when a hoodlum moved towards him and removed his cap. Reacting, the former governor in a statement to Daily Post signed by his media aide, Larry Olayenka, said despite the attack, he won't stop saying the truth concerning the running of the party in the southwest zone and those who have failed to produce any results in Lagos State since 1999 will be made to retire. Fayoshi said that the incident will be duly reported to the security agencies and the party relevant authorities for further investigation. That's how late Chief Bola Ige's cap was removed in Ileife, Osho State, then and we all know what happened later, the former governor said. Fayoshi said he will not wave the threat aside, adding that the masterminds had it all planned and they followed it up by celebrating what they saw as the success of their plot. They even capped it up by circulating the video. So, it was not an incident, it was planned. But those who planned it only succeeded in advertising their political myopism because the popularity of the brand Ayo Fayoshi Oshokumole cannot be rubbished by such childish acts that they must have seen in the reaction of the people at the rally and I am sure they know that they can't get such a loud ovation even if they spend all the money in this world. As for me, I am unperturbed and I must say it clearly that those newcomers to the PDP and their old alias who won't mind soiling the image of the party to achieve their aims will not be allowed to succeed. He said, Thank you for listening to this news. Fire she will not stop talking. He will not stop talking at all. And that this is why what happened to him happened to him. You see that? This is why what happened to him happened to him. Instead of him to humble himself, based on what has just happened to him instead of him to see that what happened to him is a message to him that he needs to humble himself but he will not hear he won't hear he's too much of talking is gradually leading him to a, a perpetual disgrace to a perpetual disgrace you can imagine eh? where is it done a governor, an ex-governor, the cap of an ex-governor removed, and is using a uh, late uh, uh, Bola Ige as an example, so that they will know that he's not the only person that has been embarrassed like this before. It's a big insult. Ex-governor's cap removed. Maybe he doesn't know. It means that he's gradually losing his value and his importance in the society. For a dog to remove his cap. Well, it makes no difference if a dog removes the cap of a governor because they are full of dogs. Yes, both the governor and the dog, the both of them are dogs. 
Even the governor is even more thuggery than the thug itself. Because that one they call thug is not even a thug, but a youth used by the thuggery himself, who, who is the governor. Because it is the governor that influences the thugs. It is the politicians that influence the thugs. Without calling them together, empowering them with weapons and financing them, they wouldn't go outside, they wouldn't go out there to start terrorizing the people. They won't. So it as a result of their attitude. Their attitude to the talks is as a result of the empowerment they give to the talks that makes the talks to go out there to uh, terrorize and cause violence in people's in, in elections and other places. So there's no difference. So he should just he should not just compensate himself. He should not just um, um, encourage himself. It's a big lie. It's a big lie. He must not encourage himself. He has been embarrassed. He has been embarrassed. He should just accept it like that and start working on himself. You understand? Fire Shea is a big thorn on the flesh of the Nigerians. It's a problem. It's a problem. And the part, the worst part of it is that although people are not seeing it, they are not seeing it, and it's totally wrong. Hmm? It's totally wrong. Why would they be allowing or allowing Fire Shea to be making mockery of them? Why? Well, the message has been given to him. Let him go home and work with it. Let him go home and utilize it. Only God knows what is going to happen on the day of the election. Since his cap is removed during the rally. Only God what to be removed. Only God knows what will be removed on the day of the Undo election if he appears. Probably this time around, they will strip him naked. His agbada or whatever he's going to put on will be removed. Even with his maximum security attached to him. Is that not an insult? He's losing his value. That is what he doesn't know. He's no longer, he's no longer valued or useful to the people. So, my viewers, what is your own take on this news? Please do well. Do well to leave your comments below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos. Thank you.